Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, My Cigar Blog Video Reviews, and I'm Izudin Danian. A uh, bit of backstory about today's cigar. Um, what do you do when the cigar before this is a dead? Uh, for me, the only way to make up for a bad cigar uh, is to smoke a great one. And if you want to be sure that you're going to get you know, a good cigar, uh, that's where you turn to the big boys. And in this case, I'm turning to Mr. Cohiba. Right here, it's the Cohiba Robusto. Um, first introduced in 1989. It's one of the it's one of the stalwarts of the Cuban cigar brand. Um, anyone who who smokes Cuban cigars must pick up a Cohiba Robusto at some point in their uh, affiliation with uh, Cuban cigars. You know, it's it's just one of those things that you must do. Just like you know, if you eat burgers, you've got to eat at McDonald's at some point. Uh, if you eat Italian food, you've got to have a lasagna at some point, otherwise you can't call yourself an Italian food lover, you know, you know, something like that, you know. When it comes to cigars, if you love Cuban cigars, you can't say that you've had all, you've had all that you can have without having a Cohiba Robusto. It's, it smells really fresh. This is from a box GLA September 08, a box that I just received a, a few days ago. I'm replenishing my supply of the Cohiba Robustos. Smells really great, very earthy. It's got this nice grassy, uh, grassy notes to it. The food is, the food is very earthy, very. A bit chocolatey. Some slight leather and wood. It's really nice. Very delicate uh, smelling cigar uh, when dry. It's uh, uh, some cigars don't smell anything at all, you know, uh, but this one doesn't suffer from that way. Really nice. I'm going to light this up and I'm going to get back to you in just a second. All right. Dry drawing the cigar gives me a lot of very, uh, very simple, fresh tobacco flavors. Draw is a bit loose, um, but that's probably because it's not had much time to rest after transit. I, can't, I couldn't resist, I just had to have one so soon, but uh, generally I'll, I would recommend that you don't, uh, you don't burn a, a stick you know, that has just survived uh, for at least as long as it was, it was in transit. So for example, it takes you know, five days to get to you, let it rest at least five days in your humidor before you start burning the first stick. Uh, some people prefer to leave it for two times as long as as it has been traveling, but I personally feel that's a bit of an overkill. Just a small little trick. You know, look at the band, all right? Look at the band, and you can tell that a cigar needs more time uh, if the band is uh, loose like this, you see? All right? When the bands go on in the factory, that's when they're, they're pretty tight and that's when the tobacco is expanded. So, you know, if, the, if you can move the band up and down like this, it obviously means that things have shrunk a bit, all right? Could be because of lack of humidity, a bit of dryness in transit, all right? And that's why the band uh, is able to go up and down the stick like this without any resistance. Obviously, the tobacco has shrunk. All right, about the cigar itself. Ooh, I wish you guys were here to see this. It's like, it's like smoking a chimney. The classic Cohiba flavors are there. Grassy, beans, nutty, espresso bitterness, very sweet. And that's just one first few puffs. I'm going to get right into it and I'll get back to you with further impressions. Hang on guys. It's about an inch into the cigar. And uh, the distinctive Cohiba flavors are, are there in abundance. The grassiness, 
that distinct sweet espresso flavor a bit of beans and nuts but most of all that grassy thing eh? where no other brand has that in this amount and this abundance and, and it's so so prominent in the flavor profile and I've always associated that with Cohibas um, especially the Cohiba Robusto which is by far the most smoked Vitola that I personally have from the from the brand having said that I haven't smoked that many Cohiba Robustos um, in the last 10 years maybe 20, 30 sticks but they all deliver something very similar to this classy sweetness and the aroma of the smoke mm, it's to die for it mm, let me just get another whiff of it woody, cedar, floral fine mist perfume um, the smoke is and it just adds so much to uh, the complexity of the overall experience it's really nice in the first third I'll bring it past the halfway point and then get back my impression to, to you then see you in just a bit I'm really enjoying the cigar um, past the halfway point it's uh it's it's okay all right it's nice I mean it's it's got all that you expect uh, a curry bite to deliver the only problem that I'm having with it is the draw you know I, I, I I'm the type of guy who likes a, a draw to be firmer you probably noticed this from my previous reviews and even my written reviews on my cigar blog as well so when the draw is slightly loose like this you can you can notice how little indentation goes in for my for my cheeks if compared with uh, my other reviews so the draw is a bit loose it's it's smokable it's not like straw loose it's not like wind tunnel loose it's just like not as firm as I as I prefer and as a result uh, what happens is that well obviously uh, the burn is quite fast right um, looser drawing cigars tend to burn a lot faster and uh, <clears throat> It might just be a psychological thing for me, but uh, but uh, my enjoyment of the cigar is just slightly less when I when I don't feel that resistance in each straw. Um, I can say that smoke volume is fantastic. Flavor profile is spot on for Cohiba. Um, really delicious. Just a draw, just a draw that's. It's just a little bit annoying to me. All right, I'm going to take this down to the final third, um, and I'll get my final impression to you. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. The flavors have, uh, have really opened up um, past the second half. It's really woody and full in the mouth some cinnamon and cloves floral the grassiness has retreated a little bit um, but what still is there is it's just a small small hint and it's really delightful now from a flavor point of view from an aroma point of view from a construction point of view it's Cohiba Robusto, it's, it's hard to beat. Uh, if you like those Cohiba tastes, it's, it's got all of those things in great abundance. My only mistake with this particular cigar was that I didn't let it rest long enough after it reached me. Um, I mean, a few weeks perhaps, you know, maybe even as little as a week extra in the humidor uh, would have allowed it to um, rehumidify itself. Um, to the point which I do enjoy that and it expands a bit and that makes the draw a bit firmer so you know whatever's wrong with this cigar uh, it's my fault for taking it out and smoking it too soon after arrival um, I fully believe that you know given another a bit of time um, it will properly rehumidify itself 
and and provide that type of uh, experience that I personally enjoy. I mean, some people will like a cigar that draws like this. Uh, it's just not me. As you can notice, the amount of time that it's taken to get down to this level, it's not been long, only about half an hour, 40 minutes. And, you know, a slow drawing, firm drawing cigar would take a lot longer. Usually it takes me about an hour to get down this fast, to get down this far, but only 30 minutes, 45 minutes in this case. So, you know, not being able to put, prolong the experience and have more time to savor the flavors, uh, for me, that's a downside. And that's what happens when uh, a cigar is a little bit on the loose, when the cigar is a bit on the, when the draw of the cigar is a bit on the loose side. But otherwise, a great cigar. Um, I'll revisit this in a few weeks' time and let me know what happens then. Um, um, it's really tasty. Thank you for watching my cigar blog, our video review, and I'm Isaac Dane. Have a great weekend. Smoke a good one. Take care, guys.